the key ideas behind IBA came to me when I was doing my sabbatical year at Lawrence Berkeley Lab. Shortly after, I was called by an old friend and he showed me a few papers and said, look, this is therapy of cancer with beam of protons. But what they are doing is too complex to put in a hospital. If you could do proton therapy with your compact cyclotron, that would really revolutionize radiotherapy. There was a reasonable probability that this small startup would fail, but that made the, the fight interesting. Figuring out a way to deliver proton therapy was quite a challenge, and that's where Eve came in. He created a safe, effective, efficient way of delivering proton therapy um, in the clinical setting. It will be the biggest innovation in radiation oncology in at least a half century. NABT established the Lifetime Achievement Award to honor individuals who have made significant contributions to the field of proton therapy. EVES has the qualities that really capture what this award is about. The history of distinguished service, his leadership, his commitment to research and innovation, and to education and mentoring others in the field. Yves is one of a kind. In fact, he may truly be, at least to me, the most interesting man in the world. His genius goes far beyond proton therapy and cyclotron technology. He is infinitely curious and deeply knowledgeable about so many things. Eves is a, is a wonderful person. He really will help out any way he can. He's always thoughtful and thinking about what's the future, how do we develop things, how do we solve problems. And he's always ready to jump in with a screwdriver and figure out what to do next. I'm really amazed at how he can just come in, think through things, but roll up his sleeves and figure out the problem and come up with a solution. Today, over 200,000 patients have been treated worldwide with proton therapy. I am basically an engineer. I am passionate about building things, building dreams, building big. And uh, I'm not afraid to put myself at risk sometime to do that. We are deeply indebted to Eve for over 50 years of service to this field and to cancer patients. And we're grateful for his friendship, for his partnership, and his unparalleled contributions to our field.